close your eyes and watch your breath. It's coming in, going out all the time. All you have to do is just take note of that fact. Where do you feel the breathing right now? And stay with that sensation. Make sure the sensation stays comfortable. If it feels tight or restricted, allow it to relax. Open up a little bit. If you have trouble following it, try to breathe a little bit more strongly. Try to find a balance so that the mind and the body work together and they feel good together. There's a sense of just right. It's right here that we train the mind in all kinds of good qualities. Of course, it's not just sitting here with our eyes closed. That's part of the practice. So many people think of practice as being just meditation practice, but there's a lot more to it. It's the practice of generosity, there's the practice of virtue, all the other qualities that we have to develop as part of the developing the mind so we can find an end to suffering. They all count as practice. We just entered the Rains Retreat here yesterday. And the Rains Retreat is a good time to stop and think about where your life is going. Another year has passed since the last Rains Retreat. We've got three months here. Usually it's taken as a time to decide that you're going to do something special with the three months. You're going to develop some special form of goodness, either in terms of generosity or virtue or meditation. You may want to study the Dharma more. You may make up your mind you want to read some more Dharma books, listen to more Dharma talks. Look at the way you interact with other people in terms of your generosity and your precepts. Are there ways you could be more generous? You may not have more material things to give, but there are other ways that you can give of your time, give of your energy, give of your knowledge, give of your forgiveness. So it's good to stop and take stock of your life every now and then to see what needs to be improved. And then you can make up your mind that for the next three months you're going to try something special. After all, if someone were to ask you, are you happy enough? You'd say, well, no. Are you good enough? And maybe you may say, well, yes. But not, those two ideas don't go together, because it's the goodness that's going to give rise to the happiness, if it's genuine goodness. So there must be some, if your happiness is not enough, then you turn around and look at your goodness. Maybe there's something more that you could add, something more that you could develop. So that the three, at the end of the three months, you'll have something special, a new habit, a new skill, a new strength that you can fall back on. Because as these rains retreats pass and pass and pass, you know, they, in, in Asia they measure years by rains retreats. The years go past, and it's not the case that the body gets any stronger. It does for a little while, and then it starts weakening. The mind gets better for a while, and then it starts to deteriorate. What do you have left? You have the goodness that you've done. And you're going to need this as the body deteriorates further, and the mind starts forgetting this, forgetting that. At least you have some goodness to hold on to. That's your weapon. That's your wealth that you can use at a time like that. That's the strength you can fall back on. The strength of the body is something that has to deteriorate eventually, but strength of the mind does not have to deteriorate. So what ways can you develop your strength of mind over the next three months in terms of conviction or persistence, mindfulness, concentration, discernment? These are things that you can look at right now and make up your mind, well, this is lacking or that's lacking, but needs to be strengthened. And then figure out some way of take, making a vow or determining that you're going to strengthen yourself in that way. So that when the time comes, you have the strength you need to fall back on. And these are things you can do. Many people say, well, when I die, it's going to be miserable, as I just don't want to think about it. Well, it doesn't have to be miserable. Things may be deteriorate in the body, but if your mind is in good shape, it's, off, it's not going to have to suffer. That's the choice you have. And so it's best right now to make the choice while you're strong and while you're healthy, while you're younger, at least young enough to do this, to figure out some area in your life that needs improvement. This then becomes a memorial in your life, something you can re refer back to. Okay, that was the time I got, I finally was able to overcome my tendency toward anger or overcome my tendency toward pettiness or whatever the issue is. That kind of memorial is one that's really worth building. I mean, the memorials they build in stone sometimes is to people who killed other people, or people who did all kinds of horrible things, but they put them up in stone and pretend that they were perfect people. Well, that's not the case. The real memorial in life is the one that's of the goodness that you've done. Nobody else has to know, but it's something you can remember. And that memory is in itself a strength. 